everyone, I'm Erica. Um, I'm on day four now of my uh, hip recovery. I just kind of wanted to update you all. So uh, I was finally able to shower. Super pumped about that. So um, after my surgery, you're not allowed to take uh, your bandage or dressings off until uh, three days later. Uh, so today is the uh, 11th of August, um, a Sunday and yesterday was saturday the 10th so i was able to shower um how showering works so or at least for me and my experience um i needed my fiance to help me shower so i did purchase one of those long loofahs where i'm able to uh you know shower my own put this just, you know soap on it try to reach places that i can't um but having someone help you shower honestly is probably your best bet than trying to do it on your own your first time. Um, I do have a walk-in shower with maybe uh, about a two inch um, lip. So I did have to hop over that uh, and my fiance did help me hop over it. Um, but I do uh, recommend you're on your crutches before you get in. Um, if you're unable to balance, um, I do recommend you have either crutches in the shower with you or a shower chair or something that's going to give you more stability. Um, but in my experience, having my fiance help me shower, um, help me wash my hair, wash my body, everything, it was a lot, dry me off, um, cause you're not able to, um, well you can, but you're not supposed to be bending down, um, uh, washing your legs, uh, drying your body off, um, and like pivoting. Uh, twisting, bending movements um, after hip surgery. So if someone's there to help you dry off, shower, um, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and then uh, blow drying your hair. I mean, you can pretty much do everything yourself. Um, but for me, the most difficult thing uh, for the showering aspect um, was just balancing on, so I'm a surgery on my right hip, is like balancing on my left leg. Um, just because I mean I'm in I was in bed for three days, not really like walking around besides you know all my crutches to the bathroom and back. Um, it does get tiring, uh, standing on your leg and putting all your weight on your left side. Um, I am able to touch down, uh, meaning have my foot be flat on the floor with only ten percent of my weight on it, but it's it's not the same. So, um, there was an issue, uh, stress uh, related with showering just because of my leg was cramping up. So I did have to shower quicker than. Uh, I anticipated. So if maybe having your crutches in there or sitting down is easier for you, I recommend that. Just my first experience, um, I was cramping. Uh, I had my fiance, uh, again, dry me off, help blow dry my hair. It was a lot easier with him doing it just because my leg was cramping and having to balance. Being able to hold on to my crutches is a lot easier. Um, and then once you finally have your shower, you feel you actually feel a lot better. I mean, it's just like when you're sick and then you finally take a nice shower, you some you somehow feel better. Or if you're a guy or girl and for some reason you enjoy putting makeup on and it makes you feel better, it's kind of that same sensation when you're showering. Um, so I'm on, you know, 24 hours, uh, actually not even 24 hours after I've showered. So yesterday I showered at three o'clock in the afternoon uh, just because that's when I came out of surgery and I wanted to make sure that that was the exact time frame where I'm able to take my bandages off and shower. So as I mean, right now it's 11 o'clock um, in California as I'm making this video and uh, my dressing is off, um, my bandages are off, um, I'll have you take a look in a second. Um, it Right now it's just the stitching and uh, basically these thin strips that keep the stitches down that I have to um, keep on. So I don't have any swelling um, or well I might have swelling, but I don't have bruising or discoloration. Um, the only thing that you'll see uh, of discoloration on me is from where my bandages were. My skin's a little lighter um, from that. And then um, I do have redness redness um, around uh, one of my stitchings. And I'm not sure if that's from uh, one of the tools they used or it's just the way my body reacted to um, the surgery. So this is what it looks like. So you'll see, um, I just have stitching and then here. So I only have two uh, incision points. There is one dot right here. Um, I'm not sure, they probably maybe wanted to go in here but then didn't. So you'll see the red 
discoloration on this side here. But other than that, I don't have any other bruising or anything else of, around my leg or anything like that. Um, also, what I've been doing um, is doing my exercises. So they're called calf pumps. But basically, it's like pushing a gas pedal. So you just push your foot like this. Um, doing heel slide. So you, you bring your heel up and down. Um, basically getting blood throat blood flow, excuse me, through um, your legs so you don't get blood clots. And it's strengthening it as well. So um, this has been um, so far day four. I'm not in any pain. Um, I mean, I do have slight discomfort, but I don't take my, have, excuse me, I haven't taken my medication, didn't take it all day yesterday except for when I went to sleep just because I don't want to wake up and be in pain in the middle of the night. Um, I haven't taken my medication since last night, and I feel totally fine. Uh, I'm Most people of the videos that I've watched um, were in a lot of pain, and I was really worried that that would be me. But um, after day four, um, I don't feel any pain. Yesterday, day three, I wasn't in significant amount of pain either, besides, again, the cramping on my left leg. But other than that, everything's been really good. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video kind of to let you know about the showering, uh, situation without going into as much detail but if you if you want to know more about it um, in the sense of like uh, what things I used um, you know comment email me let me know um, but other than that everything's been pretty solid um, I have my post op appointment on August 20th um, I plan to make another video uh, for you guys uh, within this next week um, instead of making one every day, uh, there's not much um, progress that's happening uh, besides me being in bed and crutching uh, and being able to do exercises and getting that mobility. But again, uh, I'm not able to walk yet uh, or be ambulatory yet. Uh, no, no more than 10% of my body weight is allowed to be on my right leg. Um, listen to your doctor, whatever um, your doctor gives you after surgery, listen to them, make sure you do exercises. Um, don't try to push it. Um, keep your hip happy, as my, my surgeon says. Um, and again, this is my process, uh, my recovery. Um, I'll say this in probably every video. Uh, I'm not being told what to say or being paid to say anything about my videos. Um, again, they're all going to be raw, unedited videos. I'm not going to be like looking like amazing in each video. Just, just me in bed, <laughs> hanging out. Uh, again, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment and I'll be sure to respond as quick as I can. Um, I'm not really doing much. So thank you for watching and I hope that this helps you guys in your guys' recovery process. Um, thank you for watching.